let a cigar that way. Your witch is Shadow Smokers, Legion Fun, Family and Smoke. Rocking with Phoenix Fresh Rhymes, they're stronger than no. About to break it off with the illest of crews. Led by the man Tony Wang, making his vision come true. Now let me take you on a ride. We got love for cigars. From the east to the west, only the brightest of stars. Our screen in the scene, little guy with the shop. Shadow gazing around, you know it ain't gonna stop. Cigar mechanic, don't panic when he's repping his brand. For Vascadillo and more, smooth as sticks in the land. Hashimoto's around, jumping live in the chats. Asian orange and more. His button's famous and fat. Cigars, pipes, whiskey, coffee, and more. Turbo jetting around, Tim with the dopest of pours. What's that, huh? One wheel and reviews. Martin in the house, sure in the latest smoke news. Need to pick me up? Get to Southeast US. Bob and Chief in the mix, you know what they say, and God bless. We got that journey, voyage, private blends with the crew. Celebrating with coins, repping that dope swag too. Now I'm a box to sign off, you know it's time for that audit. Light up the group with my post, you know I'll rock in the socket. But remember y'all, Legion, it lives with a passion. From a man in the shadows, ayo, the source house assassin. So cut it, light it, love the smoke from your region. After all, we connect, it's through the power of Legion. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. It is a Wednesday show and I kind of did urge you guys to watch this one because things are happening, right? And as you can see, the lights are down for a good reason. My basement is wicked hot. We have 97 degree weather and I have the dehumidifier running that literally turns this into a steam oven. So if I got up, open more window for oxygen, you'll know exactly why, okay? You know exactly why. Here. Right now, we have Martin Amaya right there, which uh, I am still, I am in the process of uh, rethinking myself where like, you know, Tony, you need to keep your big mouth shut because if you, op if you leave an open-ended thing right there, it says, hey, if this 500 comments, some members will purposely go over there, make one sentence, five posts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was a big mistake, but sure, whatever. I, I'm okay with that, either way. So, today, uh, as you can see, I already brought my Shadow Smoke Legion humidor right here. Uh, so, I kind of sort out, because I brought all the cigars upstairs, because it's so humid here. It's like drowning water, plus the temperature is so high, so I brought the cigars upstairs. And then, so just for the ease of use, I brought this back down here, so that I can smoke and when I'm down tonight I'm gonna bring this up back up again um, today I kind of want to smoke this particular cigar I believe uh, Joe Sparaccio sent me this one the, the, the pipe looking cigar mm. and it's been in here for a while and I, I was like you know what it looks pretty cool I'll keep it there until you know one day I don't know what I'm gonna smoke so today is that one day today is that one day but by the way, I hope everybody's safe. I know like there are part of like Texas and area that has like crazy, crazy, crazy storm. Like I was talking to someone today on the phone and literally hear boom and the phone cuts off. And I thought he was down for. I thought he was down for. And then it turns out it was just uh because it was online, so the power went down. He uh, he had no internet. So but yeah, it was bad. It was bad, surprisingly bad. Now, if I can find my cutter, which I, you know, unlike my Tia Maya, I don't put it in my pockets. But like, if I can find it, it would be nice. It would be nice. Oh, where are you? Right here. All right. Uh, Mark Yabara is smoking uh, the Rojas Blue Bonnet. Oh. Rojas everywhere now. Rojas moving quick. I think Rojas will be moving quick. Um, so we have Jam as usual. I, I don't know how Jam was able to post that comment before I even post my video. Like when I opened this window, the comment was already there. So I don't know how that is working. So yeah, yeah, I found my cover, I found my cover. So. So Mark uh, Ibarra asked me what he should smoke, whether it was a statement or the uh, blue bonnet. I said start with the blue bonnet because the statement's heavier. Yeah, it, it, it is. It definitely makes a statement. That's you know what I mean. 
Um, and today, let me light this up first. I don't know how this is gonna light. So um, let me, like right, you can tell, you can tell like I have some strong wind right now because the room is so hot. You, you can see the fire bent. Like I can literally put it here, it'll probably lit. So I'm just gonna. I don't know what this cigar is called. So if uh, Joe can kind of educate us on this one. Nice. <laughs> it looks so awkward. <laughs> actually works, surprisingly works. I'm surprised this air will actually go through. Yeah, air actually goes through. <laughs> it's Look. so weird. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Wow, actually works. Tastes just kind of woodsy, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like salty woodsiness. Yeah, I wouldn't expect much from it. It's just a gimmicky type of cigar. It's not bad though, just woodsy. So, uh, Joe says DBL made that cigar, okay? Oh, that's right. Yeah, DBL did make uh, like a series of those weird looking cigars. Like how the hell did you rest this on? You can't rest this cigar. How do you how do you rest this? You're gonna put it down and it's it's gonna go. Boop. You need like um. You need a pipe sort of, holder. You need a pipe <laughs> pipe rest like this. Pipe rest. Yeah, like that. Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> surprisingly lights up well anyway so i i'm, I'm sure you, you guys want to hear what's going on today but before we talk about what's going on today uh it has arrived the ultra super spicy instant noodle okay is that the challenge noodle this will be the challenge noodle okay. um after a good amount of thinking and a good amount of thought that we will not be doing the challenge noodle until the day of the event because I don't want to ruin you guys' taste bud <laughs> until the end of that event. Okay? Okay. And so. we will prepare some swags to give away for some of these challenge games. So expect to have some fun uh, in the event. Okay? All right. But it is here, and uh, I'm thinking to just bring one is enough because these, uh, like, they literally warned you here. There's a warning in the back. What's it say? Uh, no, it's just a warning. It says, it says, empty the ghost pepper spicy chicken cup into your stomach. Take a video of your struggling and finish the whole cup. Post it and tag blah 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 blah. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen black noodles, but these are black noodles. Oh wow! Yeah, never seen black noodles. And then it obviously warns you that the the the, the Scoville unit is like one million for the ghost pepper, and the ghost pepper obviously is a seasoning for this one. Like, so you're literally chowing down ghost pepper. Okay. Ah, here, here. Warning right here. Extremely spicy. Try at your own risk. No. Sounds yeah. good. Screw that. <laughs> literally, my wife was like, are you going to eat one in front of this so you can, like, you know, show them how it is? I was like, there is absolutely no way, zero way I'm eating this shit. Even though I have six of these. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would do one for a video. <laughs> but yes, we will see Martin and Maya eating it. You know what? I'll bring one extra just so that he can finish the entire cup for you guys. He might not survive the next day, but that wouldn't be our problem. <laughs> yeah, good. All good. All good. So yeah, uh, what uh, what's Martin smoking today? I've got the little guy cigar shop. Cameroon. Ah, Cameroon. And what about Albert? 
I'll call your Cameroon <laughs> and I will raise you a Sumatra. Uh, 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 well, I've got this one waiting. It's a uh, Rojas oh Blender. So. That would, that's going backwards, man. All right. <laughs> I was, at my, I was looking at my humidors today because I went and rearranged some stuff because I plan on smoking my uh, uh, J.C. Newman American for the 4th of July. So I took that cigar out of my aging humidor and just put it in like the regular humidor. But while I was moving stuff around, I took all of my McAuliffe cigars and all of my Rojas cigars, and that was enough to fill up one 20-count humidor, uh, one 20, 20-count humidor. So you're saying that you only have 20 cigars? 20 McAuliffe Rojas cigars. But I also have a box of the street tacos. Mm. So my two favorite brands in one box. <laughs> you go, man. There you go, organizing. What are you getting? A really Raisins. weird banana. You know, like the cedar wood, <clears throat> like a really, really old cedar wood. Dry. Okay. You take that piece and go. <sighs> <laughs> That's how it tastes like. Like you moldy, know? moldy cedar. It's no, just like a dry cedar. Dry, salty, a little bit of like gritty. Powdery cedar that ends in a little bit of sweetness. Okay, sounds it's pretty weird good. In a way, I like woody cedars. Like it, it, it tastes weird, but it doesn't stop me from doing it. So. All right, hold so on. Let you what? What did I miss? Um, challenge noodles. Swag. Let me get the call for Brendan when he's ready to jump in. So basically, if you uh, if you accept the challenge, you can get more swag at the meet. But I'm I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. We'll figure out. So we'll see. No. Is that a no? Is that not doing it? That's uh, actually it's a hell no. What? <laughs> Come on. No. Don't you know it's a standard, standard uh, thing with with Tony the soy sauce assassin. If you meet him, you gotta eat something. I'm. I'll eat some things, but not 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 spicy, not not hot like that. You don't have to eat like a big chunk. You can just taste one string. I I, I had that happen one time. I had some steaks going on the grill, a little Caesar salad action. Had some other, you know, had some good stuff going on. Some asshole next to me, uh, next door to me, goes, "Hey, try this this stuff. It's orange. You know, like in a little vial. You only need one little drop for a whole bowl of chili." So I took a little drop, put it on my tongue, and it ruined my meal for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> it ruined it. Like, there was no point because it was just so, you know, yeah. Jay Austin said, two Texas boy turning down spicy food. No, 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 no. Well, we don't, want to, we don't want to, you know, consume it all. We'll say that. You wouldn't consume it all. You would just stay the taste because I'm bringing one for everybody to taste. So, and after this one... You can pretty much withstand majority of regular spicy food in any restaurant. Yep. So. Yeah, there's no upside to that, man. There, there is definitely upside to that. There's a lot of good food that is spicy. What's up, Tim? Hey, Tim. So, uh, in terms of what's going on with with the with the event, I wanted to wait until Brendan comes up so that I can tell you guys. Uh, so right now, let's talk about uh, other stuff. Tomorrow, well, actually, technically today, you can already pay for your ticket. All right? If you want to pay for the ticket, information is already posted. You can pay for your ticket, swag, whatever. Okay? That's done. All right? 
and the card if you haven't changed it by now like you haven't verified it by now today you're too late i already sent it out tell them to print it i waited a few days and we have like 106 people already looked at it and i got people comment on it i think i waited long enough right so i didn't want to hold everybody up because that could take very quick or forever and i also have to go purchase envelopes the heart, heart envelopes to send those to you guys so uh i wanted to get it done before the event okay the event shirt uh if you want to order so the event shirt uh, they have a button for me to 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 push them to uh, to process it immediately, and I want to wait until to see if there's anybody else that wants the shirt to go order it now, so I can press it in, uh, to process it immediately. Because if you don't, they wait like a few weeks before they process the next batch. So uh, if you not you, you know you gotta get it, go get it now. Uh, that way you don't have to wait a long time. Cause like you, you know you, some some of the stuff could wait could, could could take a long time could take a long time right. So. And that's that. Alright. I don't know when Brendan's gonna be on or if he's gonna he even gonna be on. He said he will try to because he have Bible study. So let's start talking about this, okay? Uh number one, we change plan. We're not gonna be in Piro anymore. So okay. we end up going to this place called VIP Cigar. And according to Sources, uh, uh, that's the same place that Tim uh, Tim Long does his uh, like the, the the cigar events too. It's supposed to be a really nice place. Okay. And because the way they are, uh, ah, he's coming up in five minutes, so I can keep talking about it. So because the way they are set up, it's gotta we, we, you know they can open until until as as long as we want it basically so if we take you know if we go over the amount of time they're okay with that supposedly supposedly so uh we will host the event at that location okay okay what city is it uh gonna be in say what what city is it is it gonna be in well still like it's like 20 minutes away from cigars daily okay so it's towards the west side instead of the east side okay all right uh, can I can can I cancel my bike back now? What? Can you what? Can I cancel based on this new information? Sure, if you, if you need to. I was uh, planning yeah. on Puro, and... <laughs> yeah. and overall, it's gonna save you money because from what I was told, from what I was told, that uh, the owner's wife is great cook, and she might be able to cook up some food for the. Sweet. Event. Okay. And from what I was told, possibly they will be able to drag out a barbecue for the outside. Possibly. Okay. All right. Can't promise you anything, but that's from what I was told as an option. Okay. Uh, and obviously, I don't know how the food situation is gonna be. It is bring your own beer kind of thing, but I think before the event starts, uh, you know, a bunch of us will go and source some liquor for yeah. the event all right so Absolutely. that you know overall that's gonna save you guys money because if you go to bar you're talking about you know 15 20 a cup you know, yeah. if we go and source our own it'll be much less than that right, right? So, yeah i mean i was planning on buying a bottle anyway so um if anybody else wants to get a bottle or something i'll buy a bottle and we can just share it with the yeah. with the legion we can always just share we can whatever and you know we can split it however you i think it's overall it's gonna be so much cheaper i can just tell you that yeah right? and you, you know that way we can focus on whatever good deal that you're gonna get that day i mean lewis quiver's gotta be there right so you i, I was supposed everybody should save their money to buy at least one box of the casa cueva and have them sign it because that will be one that casa cueva signed and from what I was told, it's going to be more than one Cuevas got to be there. Okay. Just make sure. You know, you got a few days. Don't overspend on your trip. Save it for the event. You probably got to get a good deal. So I, I got to save a little bit more then. Yeah, whatever that is. Because I know I'll be buying. So, you know, uh, at the same time, obviously, we're hosting in someone's place. We're going to make it worth it for them. So yeah, I'll be buying. So, 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, is there any sort of like entrance fee? No, no. Cutting no, no, fee? No. 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 Okay. If there is, oh, I guarantee cool. just the portion that I bought will have paid for all that. <laughs> that's closer to our hotel. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So it should be easier. Should be better. All right. Because uh, I think the the issue is with holding the spot for twenty people at Piro, at them being a bar, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Yeah. Right? So uh, uh, over there being a lounge in the afternoon and uh, you know should be easier. Okay. Okay. All right. The bar starts to get really tight on this. I I think it get closer to that corner. So. That's that. That's number one. So the, the 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 situation right now is, here we go. Look who's here! Look who's here! What up, guys? What's up, boy? What's going go. on, Albert Martin? How you guys doing? Doing good. See, like, you know, he literally calls me today and just give me bad news. But it turns out bad news was good news. So No, I gave you great news. And tell me, I, how I are you, I just say, bad news turns out to be good news. Yeah. How are you, sir? Doing okay. It's hot here. So, you know, I'm getting myself ready for that kind of weather over there. You know, obviously. So I was talking about, you know, we will be going to uh, VIP Cigar Lounge. It's a great lounge. Uh, uh, Tim said that they have a courtyard in the back area. And I say possibly uh, the owner's lady will be cooking us some food. Possibly. Yep. And um, no possibly about it. No possibly about it. So it's yes. It's happening. It's happening. Is it gonna be barbecue? Yes. No. We're we're gonna be working on that. So that'll be to be determined. But uh, he was asking, do we want more of a lunch or more of a dinner? What kind of a meal do we want? Because. Uh, and I said, we want something right in between, so both. Yeah, there we go. See, <laughs> there we go. That's taking care of it. So like I said, um, we will probably have to go source some liquor beforehand. And then I, overall, just got to save everybody money. I said, uh, you know, it's a Casa Queer, but it's got to be there. You better save some money to buy at least one box for him to sign there. We'll, we'll work him until his hand breaks down, you know? Yeah. So uh, we're going to bring markers and all that stuff. The swag will be there, you know? We get to sign everything, so it's gotta be a good event. Save your money for that. I know, I know, a lot of people is gonna go all over the place, uh, day one, day two, day three, but that's the one that you wanna focus on. You know, it's not like they don't have any cigars there. They do have cigars there, so take advantage there. And then we'll obviously we we'll squeeze Brendan Dry, force them to give us good deals too. So. Yeah, there'll be good deals there. So I was just on the phone talking with the owner of the shop. Um, What's going on, Josh? Tim, what's going on, dude? Um, but I was just talking to them, and yeah, the, the back area, there's a big back open lot, but uh, more importantly, there's a ton of space inside. There's actually a private room inside that we can use if we want. Uh, there's the whole lounge up front that we can use. It is, it's a great place to be. The chairs are comfortable. Um, you know, the husband and wife that run it are just awesome people. Um, it's a very, very good location. So we'll have a lot of fun. And here's the, here's one of the great things about it, Tony. It's a BYOB. That's what I was talking about. You bring yeah. your own drink. So you oh. gotta, you know, if we all right. just go source whatever we want to drink ahead of time, everybody split, you'll be much cheaper than the bar because at bar, a cup, you're looking at $13, $15, if not more. I think you meant bring your own Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bring your own dang Brandon. Uh, well, we'll definitely bring out Brandon there. But yeah. But yeah. I, I was saying that it's got to be much easier because, like, I'm talking about, you know, 13, 15 a cup. Whereas if we bring our own drinks, you guys can drink yourself to death and it will be still a lot cheaper than that bar. Look and then we'll this. make we'll, we'll make Brendan dump your wine for you. Brendan will be like, Ting, there you go. Oh, I got to pour the I'm pouring wine and yeah. I'm running the event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jack, you know. Yeah, yeah, Doing yeah. All that, you, well, Brent, Brent, Brendan, you know you gotta be in the humidor. You might as well do the wine job too. You know, be a bartender. Might as well do it all, right? That's what the BYOB is. We have you come in and do do all that. Yeah, you bring the Brandon to do all the work. Right. right. Yeah. It's gotta yeah, be a I don't, blast. I don't so. want to hang out within you guys. I just want to serve all of you. <laughs> <laughs> and and then we end up crowding over over where Brendan is instead of being where we should be at. You know, but but yeah. Uh, 
I think it's gotta be great. So yeah. you know, pace yourself, all right? You know, and just know that that's the only change here. Okay. So instead of buying food and, and, and drinks right at the, uh, Piro, we're moving to VIP, and it's gonna overall save you money. So you have more money to buy cigar instead of drinks. Yeah, that's the goal. I wanted to make sure. I mean, September's always that iffy time where it could be pretty warm still. And so I wanted to make sure that we have somewhere that's indoors, that we've got the space for everybody, everybody to be able to hang out because places like Puro and Fox and all those places, they can get pretty busy, especially on a Friday and a Saturday. And we're, I mean, it'd be, it'd be cool for us all to be hanging out instead of yelling over each other. You know, and so why do I hear myself? Yeah, because my team, I keep muting him. Yeah, I'm muting him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, so I think that's gonna be the cool thing about it is that we've got we've got that space and that availability. Everybody left. Yeah, they'll, they'll be back. Oh. So um, yeah, I, I think I think the space is very important, right? So because I, I like you told me that they will be okay if we end up going over the time, you know. So so long as we oh, yeah. have fun. So I, Bro, I I've been there. Important. I've been there till one in the morning before. I don't think so, that's gonna happen unless you guys are really into the. The Brendan style, because if you're there until 1 a.m., Brendan probably shove you nice nicer guy by then. So yeah, pace yourself. Yeah, <laughs> pace yourself. Uh, yeah. So I think everything's gonna work out, and if nobody ever issue, I think it's some pe some people's gotta actually be closer. And you know, and and I think we gotta have like three or four cars, and if needed, Brendan will probably go pick up some people that's nearby too, and we we'll just go there. <laughs> no. Right. So uh, I. I, 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 I I'll, I'll tell you this one thing, Tony. Like, I did. I cannot play chauffeur during this time because I've got. I'm playing chauffeur with uh, Lewis and Alec Cuevas, so I'll have them there. Probably right now, it's looking like I'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday with them. They're coming in. This is the main event. This is you guys. They're coming in for SSL. You know, but to make it profitable for them, or at least, you know, good for them. Like we we. If they're flying this far, let's go ahead and get some other visits and some other shops in. So yeah, what I meant was actually just that day. Obviously, you got to be busy the, the few days. Yeah. So guys, like I told you guys, if you arrive Thursday, sure we'll hang out a little bit. If you don't arrive Friday, sure we'll hang out a little bit. We'll go to multiple places. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Brendan and I was talking about meeting up in Fox uh, at Fox Cigar at little later at night. You know, just have some drink or something like that if they had time. So that was the plan for Friday night, okay? So Friday, during the day, we might hang out. Yeah, we gotta hang out in Cigars Daily for a little bit, go have dinner, and then we'll go uh, hang out at Fox Cigar, and then wait for, you know, you get to, you know, try to see Brendan drunk, even though I haven't seen him drunk. Uh, you and, won't. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll hang out, and that will be, that, literally the night, that night at Fox Cigar will be like the beginning of the real events, right? You know, and then, Friday, when you get up, go have a nice breakfast, get ready. We'll go to the uh, the lounge, uh, the VIP cigar. You can go there early if you want to, but then I think we'll organize it a little bit. Some of us just gotta go pick up alcohol first, right? So we have drinks, maybe cool it down, get some ice and all that stuff. Then we'll have the party, okay? So, you know, once we get there, we already have that Discord room set up so everybody can communicate where's, where, who's waiting for what, where we're going. And then once we go there, the party stuff. Okay, and then that will be all day party. We'll just hang out there as as long as you guys want. We're not gonna do that much. Just smoke and drink and hang out and do stupid things. We probably could make Brendan t get a taste of this. What is that? It's instant noodle. Yeah, but that looks like it's. it's I see a lot of red ink, which means it's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's hot. It's hot. But come on, Brendan. You know you, no. you can take I, the it. What? I, did, I won't do the hot things. I, I, I did the I did the one chip challenge, which was the one chip challenge was bad. Uh, but it was the day after that was horrible. So you don't have to eat the entire thing. You just have to eat one string. Yeah, I, I've learned my lesson with hot things. It does. If I don't have handlebars on the toilet seat the next day, man, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you should have it by now. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I, or I just don't eat hot stuff. But my team will, and, and obviously we'll, we'll run some funny stuff, uh, uh, events and giveaways and raffles and stuff like that for everybody that's there, okay? And, and nice, so, dude. Well, yeah, of course Martina will eat it, dude. Like, with the name, like, Martina Maya, of course you're going to eat that. Like, 
You like the spicy stuff. Like, what? Brendan is like talking about spicy stuff, but he was perfectly fine watching me eating an entirely soaked taco full of spice. Mm -hmm. He was okay yeah. with that. What's wrong with that? I, I enjoy watching other people eat spicy stuff. I just don't want to eat it. <laughs> wow. All right. I've learned. I've learned my lesson. Right. I mean, I, I, I think you should, you know, not check it out just to get one string, one string, one small string. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what it looks like while we're there, man. I might be too busy in the humidor. Uh, we'll bring it to the humidor <laughs> for you. I will serve it to you on a plate. <laughs> I tell you what, get Lewis to eat a string. I, we definitely need you. We definitely yeah. need you. We're going to record it and everything, and that will be history forever. So so here's something else I'm working on, and it's, it's not it's set in stone yet. But something else that I'm working on is also getting um, Lewis's wife, Denise, there as well. So, and she's definitely welcome. I hope that they all get there. Is Alex going to be around too? Alex, we're we're working on Alex should be there. Uh, we should have the Cuevas family there, which would be really really cool because I know some people are bringing their wives along um, or their girlfriends. I know that you know Sherry's coming, so it'd be great to have uh, some of these these ladies be able to get together and, and smoke a cigar together and just hang out. Yeah. So it's going to be great. And then, you know, I'm glad that today we actually got to sit in stone. Unfortunately, we didn't have an event cigar. However, however, there are consequences. And then, you know, this with the patrimonial by then. So, yeah. you, you know, for those people who didn't pick it up yet, could go there and smoke one and see if he, you know, suits your palate. And if he does, have a sign, you know. Is you know, sending that like you know, patrimonial is like a family kind of thing. You know, you have your SSL family over there. We can all sign the box if you want, to, right? Yeah, so, it's gonna be really, really fun. All right. So that is the only change that is really happening. All this, all, technically, every other thing that's outside of that event could be played by ear, right? Literally, like what we decide to eat on Friday night, play by ear, right? And and, and what you want to eat on Saturday uh, Saturday morning something hopefully not spicy but play by you right and then we, you know all of you guys will have our phone number and the way to contact you know you can contact us on facebook you can contact us on discord you can contact us uh you know text message we will be around so it should be offset i think it should be offset what do you guys think any questions on the from the chat room people who are going dude i'm seeing like all these names on here right now quakes and scott Jason, Josh, look at this, man. I don't know Val. Val is new, and he's literally studying, like, the history of SSL. Like, he's watching yeah. from episode one. That's cool. Yeah, I, I was like, how do you how do you go through that? I can't even watch myself on episode one. I can't even watch myself on episode 200. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got to so, stay away from all that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that You know, he's, he's at it. He's at it, and he's, like, reading into the history, and then I was like, oh, my God. He's got to be, like, the dedicated... Uh, historian, uh, yep. right? So, so Val, just so you know, I'm the guy that got deleted from all the history in SSL. I didn't delete you. I didn't delete <laughs> no, you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you deleted yourself. I didn't delete I, you. I know. I'm kidding. I ha I had to leave, man. It's it's been. I gotta tell you, it's been so incredibly crazy busy, and um, you know the church has been taken off. And actually, Tony, you'll you'll like this. Uh, our primary communication tool we use now for the church is Discord. Ta da! <laughs> I actually set up Discord for everybody. And what's up, Juan? And uh, we're, we're using that. So you'd be proud of me. Very proud of you. Technology, move forward with it, right? Right? Look at that, dude. Like, how much did I buck Discord? Yeah. yeah. You literally <laughs> hated Discord. Like, the oh, only, well. only time you go. It, for those people who are new and never seen any of the old history chat, only reason Brendan goes on the Discord is go use the middle f middle finger icon to get banned for two hours. He will go in there because there's a rule to not use middle fingers. So he go in there, use middle finger, and uh, and get banned for two hours. He will use it 14 times, so he get banned like you know, 24 hours, and he comes back tomorrow and say, "Wait, I'm not banned anymore." That's the only I time he uses it. I still have the record. For oh yeah, because. For the most middle fingers <laughs> before yeah, getting cut. Yeah, like the entire screen, big, gigantic icons. That's all he uses it for. So okay. Brandon, and now he uses it to run his church thing. Yeah. So, Brandon, what does is, what is crow taste like? What does crow taste like? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like chicken. 
<laughs> Jeez. So, so Brendan, uh, anything new with uh, Cigar Mechanic LLC? Oh, ton of stuff new. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, and that, that's you know, quite frankly, if, even if you look at if you look at you know the group that I have on Facebook, I have hardly been involved in that because it just. I just know that I wasn't going to be able to be involved for quite a while in, in the groups. So I'm traveling a lot more. Uh, I'm working on picking up a new brand right now. Um, I can't disclose what it is. Wait, but, but this is the after the AJ. Yeah. Did you pick so up we'll, anything other than the AJ that we should know about? I, don't, I haven't picked up AJ. Are you, I thought AJ is back to you. No, not yet? Uh, all right. Not yet. So, yeah, if you go over there, you're going to hold off on your AJ. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Um, I, I, I'll tell you this, like a AJ, um, AJ Fernandez, uh, Omar, um, Frankie and myself, we are scheduled for a conversation while we're in Vegas next week. So the four of us will be getting together, having a conversation, talking about potentially picking the brand back up, but that we'll find out at the trade show next week. Okay. All right, cool. Keep us informed. Yeah. You, know, you know, even if you don't come onto the show, you can at least message one of us or let Michael know so we can disclose that. Because yeah. uh, even if you're not in SSL, you're still our good friend. So. No, I still love all you guys, and and I didn't, you know, and like I said, when I when I left, I did a video, and it wasn't I wasn't leaving out of bad blood. I know there was some some turmoil and things that were happening at that point, but it's nothing that family can't work out. It was during yeah. right. It was right after Turkey Gate, right? Yeah. Um and. There, there's nothing that family can't work out, and that's not the reason I left. Um, and I tried to be abundantly clear about that in in the live that I did before leaving. Um, I just know that my focus had to be shifted, and I've got to narrow where I am and what I'm doing because things have gotten busy, man. I'm traveling all five states now. I've got you know, we've got Cigar of the Year with E.P. Carrillo. I've got you know, Cigar Snobs, you know, number one Cigar of the Year with Espinosa. You know, the La Mandaria rate, rated really high with Casa Cuevas. Patina rated really high with the Maduro. So it's like, man, the, the it's just been gangbusters. Absolutely yeah. gangbusters. So that, That's good. I mean, it is a year that kind of we kind of get back to the group, right? I, I got really, really busy. Like, if you guys didn't, didn't know, today I was trying to talk to Brendan, and Brendan calls me as I, I had to call you back because I was on, still on the phone while that's happening. Like, you know, yeah. things are happening right now. This is where we got to kind of fill our pocket <laughs> before we go to the event, you know? So, I, I, you know, I think it's got to be great. And like I say, even though this year we didn't have anything cool or anything different made because all those crazy things, it does not mean next year it won't happen. Or the next, next year it won't happen because yeah. Brendan's always got to be around, you know? This no, year we'll I didn't talk to happen. Brendan a lot. Doesn't mean I won't, I don't talk to him. It's just I, I know he's busy. Every time I ask Michael, how's Brendan? He's like, he's busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 been it's been crazy. It's been good. Um I, I can't complain one bit. But um there's some new stuff coming out. Espinosa's got a few new cigars coming out. Um so we'll see some new stuff coming from them here in the next couple weeks. Um so keep your eyes on that. The new Warhead's coming out, the Warhead seven. The, well, there's uh, another Warhead coming out. I, I think like um, Michael just talked about the, the short rounds. For Espinosa yep. a few like a few weeks ago. No, that's EP Carrillo. Oh, that's EP Carrillo. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so but... short runs are retro, so that's a redo of an old line that that they had, and it's a it's a limited a limited release. Then he got a limited amount. He um, literally got one pack package kind of thing. So, one package. Yep. Yeah. So if you guys didn't get it already, it's not my fault. I only got one box. It's not my fault. Okay, I allow you guys to have your time. How is the cigar anyway? Tell us about that cigar before you, you know, don't have any. You know, I've only smoked one. I think, what, what's up, Albert? Uh, Val wants to know where the middle finger is at on this one. <laughs> That's the answer. You guys are not allowed to answer, right? Yeah, tell us about that cigar because I haven't got to smoke it yet, and I'm kind of interested about it, you know. I, I, dude, I honestly know very little about it. Um, it was literally just, hey, we have a re-release of the, of, we have a re-release of the cigar. Here's how many packages you have available to offer. Go sell them. I have, I did, I had to buy one the other day so I could smoke it. Um, I like it. It's a nice, it's a nice medium in strength. Um, I think it's, you know, EP Carrillo just does such a great job with all of their smokes. So I, I have no complaints about really any of their cigars they put out. Um, it's got that typical Nicaraguan, you know, mild spice to it. 
Um, it's just a very, very well constructed cigar, and it's only in the three sizes: a robusto, toro, and a gordo. But Which um, I, I think, if I didn't get it wrong, there's only like three or two boxes of those sizes. Um, so, like, I'm not trying to push it because I don't care if you guys don't buy it. But that's the thing: like, if you don't get it, you might not get to try it. I, I, I don't know anything. Like, I know that it's not gonna be a regular release kind of thing. They just got it and they go, hey, so, yeah. Yeah, I was actually on the phone with them this morning. Um, I was just bugging the crap out of them. Hey, how much do we have left? How much didn't sell? What's available? Even if it's not a full package, like how many boxes of each size do we have? Because I need to know. I want to make sure that guys are getting it. Okay. So, so the warhead you're talking about, when is it coming out? Do you know? Um, I have it on my price sheet for PCA. So at, at, at the trade show next week, we'll be able to sell it. Um, as far as I know, it's available. It's ready to ship. Um so the Warhead is a cigar that comes out every single year. It's the same blend every year, but it's a different Vitola. So this is the seventh Vitola. I don't even know what the Vitola is right now, to be honest with you. I know very little about it. We haven't had our sales meeting yet. But it is the same blend every single year, just a different Vitola. Okay. And they're not so, going to do that, like the special kind of token kind of stuff, like last time? Do you know well, that? That, was for, that was for the pack. So that was right. for... That came in only in that box where they gave where they had the uh, didn't give away, but they had the uh, all the different vitolas up to this date. Yep, yeah, that pack right there. Like this, I you know if they release another this, one, I will I will totally buy it because it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Was fun. So that's coming out. The six hundred one black is coming out. Six hundred one black. Yep. So is that the one that they kind of sold out last time? It's the same one. Yeah. Because I know someone was looking for it the other day. Who was I was like, Albert, was that you that asked for more 601 blocks? I know Sherry was like, I she didn't buy any. She kind of regretted it. So I sent some to her. But So that's the exact same thing. Same Vitola and everything. So the six, the six, yeah, the 601 black is going to be coming out similar to the Warhead, where every year it'll be a different Vitola, but it's the same blend. and It'll be extremely limited. Like the Warhead 7 is limited to 2,000 boxes, 10 count boxes. Um, the so 601, yeah. So the 601 black, I'm not sure what the limit's going to be on that, but it's a, it's an amazing cigar. It's a strong Connecticut. Um, and so it's, it's not a mild Connecticut, but it will be released this year. And I'm not sure what the size is on that either. Again, we haven't had the sales meeting. So, okay. So that's a lot of good news coming up, you know, a lot yeah. of interesting cigar coming up. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I don't know, maybe this, this summer will be much more exciting than last summer. <laughs> I think so. I mean, we're, we're able to get some of this stuff out. And then they're also releasing the, we missed last year uh, of the La Ces Provencia. And that's being released by Espinosa this year. That's a yearly release, um, paying homage to the, the original six provinces of Cuba. And that's the one that comes in the really fancy dress boxes. They're really, really nice. Last the previous year had shutters that opened up and that was your cigar box. They're all hand painted. Um, oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Remember the year before, Martin? It was like a it was like a pendulum swinging box. The box was pretty badass. Yeah. So, so. Uh, in that case, I think the the right thing to say is uh, go apply for a new credit card right now, guys. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you uh, might need it. You might need it. All right. So yeah, it sounds interesting. All those cool stuff is coming out, and I'm pretty sure Brendan will work his best to get Michael. So yep. that we can get it somewhere, you know. I'm actually gonna I'm actually going to be talking with Michael here in the next day or two about pre-ordering, so he can be the first order in. Uh, hopefully, the first order into Espinosa. Period. Okay. Um, so I, I usually try to give him the heads up and try and get him the first the first stuff of everything, so that you guys have access to it before anybody else. So Michael, get get you a new credit card, buddy. If you're listening. <laughs> yeah, Michael needs a new credit card. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have he should have space on there because if everybody's using the code um, and buying right now, like, like we should, right? With the because he's his one year anniversary, he's doing a pretty good percent off of the code. Oh. Uh, um, the, I think the code will expire by the time uh, we have like the patrimonial and stuff like that. Correct. And, like those that gotta be newer stuff. They can discount crazy so please be understanding of that okay 
when I talk to uh, Michael, and Michael like straight tell me that those I can't discount those that much. And you guys understand that. You guys have to understand that it is new stuff. You can't discount like that. You get people mad, and we don't get good deals. So, right. So that, I gave, that's I, something to, to understand ahead of time. Yeah, and and on the patrimonial, I, I did. I was able to get a deal for Michael, so I did give him the best deal that we could for something that's not even released yet. So, he will have a, a, a pretty good deal for you guys, um, and I'm sure he'll probably partner it up with something else that we you know I, I always try to give them the best deals we can so that they can because i know that he passes it on to the group um i know he doesn't just try to profit on that and that's what i what i love about it is that he is passing it on to all of you guys so we make sure we're giving them those deals as best we can and um is patrimonial run now like kind of initial release has got to kind of be not a lot of them or is, is, do they have plenty of those we got they don't even have enough box at first well, we have no boxes. Um, we have a ton of patrimonial. We have no boxes. Cigars are all made, rolled, sitting there aging. We're waiting on boxes. And the way the box factories are right now is uh, you'll have them in a month. And, and a month never comes. So um, we're hoping end of July that we'll have them. I'm anticipating more middle of August. Okay. So um... that, could be a mixed, that could be a good blessing, a mixed blessing, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. A little more age, yeah. I, I was hoping that they will send the one that's not box so that some of us can try it and at the event we can get the box if they have box. So. I'll see what I can do. But by that, by the time, by the time the event rolls around, we should have patrimonials landed here in Arizona. Okay. So yeah, you know, there's there's options. That we you know there's way to get it. Uh, I'll tell you what, Tony. If 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 patrimonio is not landed in Arizona in the box, if we don't have boxes and the availability to land them here. Um, I will do everything in my power to make sure that SSL has them available on September 4th at the event. There we go. There All we right, go. Guys, that, that sounds good. All right. So make sure, like I say, go apply for a credit card right now. <laughs> you know, sometimes it will take 30 days to get an answer. So, you know, just, you know, I will say get a good amount of, uh, uh, of budget ready for this event because this will be the best event you go to this year for sure yeah for sure like yeah. you know like you can go to a lot of events at uh, different events you're not gonna be in a lot of those events where the main person who, who make the cigar is gonna be able to pay a lot of attention to you and this is one that he's literally showing up just for us because he, he said he's gonna come so he's showing up for us he's got you know his attention will be on us and we're gonna have a lot of fun. And from what I was told, Lewis is a fun guy to hang out with. So, you know, this is the oh, way yeah. that you wanna go. Oh yeah, when I called him today, I said, hey, you remember the SSL event on September 4th that we talked about? He goes, of course I remember. I was like, cool, man, let's start schedule. Let's make sure we're lined up because I've got him in Colorado on my birthday in September. Oh. So he's gonna, he's coming out here for the event. Then he's flying home, he's doing stuff, and then like two weeks later, he's flying to Colorado to meet up with me, and I've got a couple of back-to-back -back events um, at the end of September in Colorado. So he, he is coming out here for you guys. So, you know, you guys got to know this is going to be the event. Even though it took two years for this to happen, you know, it will be fine for you to go. It will be fine, all right? I'll, I'll make sure everybody will get, you know, Brendan will make sure everybody have fun there. Uh, I, yep. I can only do so much, but Brent is there, so he will make sure everybody have fun there. He recommended the, the lounge, and I'm pretty sure, you know, Tim said that was a good lounge too. Michael said that was a good lounge too. Even though I haven't been there myself, I trust their words. So if they say it's gonna be fun time, good time, I think it's gonna be a fun time, good time. Okay. So. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a perfect lounge for what we're wanting to accomplish, which is everybody getting to hang out and talk. I mean, if we go to a place like Puro on a Saturday night, you're just not going to hear each other. You're talking over music. You're talking over other people. You're getting bumped into. like, And Puro is a great place. I'm not saying anything bad about them, but for what the group is trying to accomplish here, um, and it's just nice to have our own space where we can bring our own booze, save the money there, uh, be able to have more money for cigars. It's actually closer to the hotel that most people are staying at. And we've got really free reign. I mean, it's basically our lounge while we're there. Okay, so I hope you guys like that decision because I actually, after I heard, at first I was like, oh no. And then I heard it, and then, you know, you know Brendan is like describing all those things to me. Somebody just fall off the, tape, uh, the stairs. Uh, that might have been me, I did this. Yeah, okay. All right. 
So uh, Brendan described it to me. I was like, you know what? It doesn't sound too bad. And I look at the map. I look at the picture. The map doesn't look doesn't look bad. It actually looked closer. Overall, yeah. look closer. And it wouldn't be like middle of nowhere, you know. So you know, people will be easier to get picked up, to drop off when you guys are drunk, and, and all that stuff, right? And I looked at the lounge. Looks beautiful. Their their humidor looks beautiful, and they are. Plenty of other cigars there too. It's not just you know you don't have to just cut the Casa There's other cigars there too, right? So there's other cigars other than Casa Cuevas. There's no Espinosa. There's no <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> yeah, there is. They'll... So he'll have Espinosa. He'll have Gran Habano. He'll have Casa Cuevas. Um, and if I can't, if I if I can work it, I'll have him get EP Carillo. But um, you know the biggest thing I want to make sure we have plenty of is Casa Cuevas because. You know, you're not going to get the opportunity to hang out with Lewis and Alec and hopefully Denise and, you know, everybody else for that time. I, I think it's a great opportunity for those people who want to smoke Casa Cuevas. And you can smoke Casa Cuevas and ask all the tough questions that you can think of to Lewis. Like, that's the best yep. chance, right? You're smoking and it's like, why is it this, that, this, that? You can ask him right there, right? Yep. You know, and you, you're probably not going to get those TV answers where some of the things he just can't tell you. Right. No. So. Tony, you could probably ask him why he got a uh, paper box on the uh, reservist. <laughs> he already told me that many times, but then I will ask him again. Just give him a hard time, right? <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, we're going to have some fun time. We're going to, you know, have the swags and we got to have all enjoyable things. We probably will do like uh, ask everybody what you guys want to drink first. And then, you know, that way during the day we can go pick it up. Right. So. You know. Yeah, let me know what you guys want, Tony, and, and I'll, I'll I'll make sure I pick up a couple bottles of something. I mean, I'm not going to supply all the liquor, but if I can pick up a couple bottles for you guys as just a little gift to the group, um, this my my way of saying thank you. You know, I definitely want to make sure that we make that happen. So it will be great. And from what I'm thinking, I'm already excited. It's going to happen. All the things are set up. He already confirmed the location. We have about 20 something people. 20 something people is a lot of people. If you just don't, you know, you know, if you think about it, that's quite a bit of people to hang out with. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I think, you know, appreciate what Brendan does did for us, obviously. You know, he had to call, call, call. It wasn't me that's calling. I can tell you that. I didn't call. I didn't call anybody. He had to call. So, you know, he's organizing this stuff for us. Lewis is traveling all the way to get there. Even and, and literally, even though he kind of scheduled other things for that trip. It's just so that he can make sure that he's there. So, right. you know, it, it's actually something really amazing. You know, it, I mean, think about other people that we can just say, hey, you know what? Fly over there just for our party. Yeah. You're not going to find another person. So, well, and, and, and that was his plan was to fly over just for the party. And I, I told him, I said, dude, I, I need you to come out a couple of days early. Let's let's get some work in while you're on this side of the country, please. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so who's going to who's going to make sure that. Hashimoto doesn't fanboy too much. Nobody. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Uh, beforehand, one of us can go get a basket of orange. Every time he goes fanboy too much, let's toss him an orange. Yeah, toss him an orange. There you go. Toss him an orange, throw one at his head. <laughs> <laughs> right? But so, make sure Lewis signs it first. Yeah. Signs it. He will take it on the head if he signed it. If we sign, he'll be like, oh, please hit me right here. You yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it's got to be great. I think it's got to be great. Uh, phone. Everything that we kind of uh, go through, uh, everything that we thought about ahead of time, and all that stuff, it's gotta be great. Yeah, it's gotta be great. And we gotta—I don't know. Some if you guys have camera, bring your camera. This is will be the day you want to take it down. You know, like I'm not talking about like bring your cell phone. Like if you have camera, bring your camera. Right? How many cameras are on your cell phone? Holy crap! Did you get that thing from like direct from China? No. Gee, many Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right so uh we'll do all that unfortunately i think tim long might not make it but, yeah, he's saying you know, he's trying to he's trying to so yeah. you know if he can show up uh, great it, uh, i just hope that he, he recover fast because he said he had a surgery so well he said didn't he say he that was like his anniversary or something no he said i'll try my house hardest to get there he, so he yeah. might not get there but then if he does it'll be great i think it'll be great yeah. you know, it's, it's your one time because we might not do this often, right? I'm talking about yeah, the last time we, we planned this was two years ago, right? So we might not do this often. So if you want to meet the members, you want to hang out with Brenda, you want to hang out with the members, this is your that. chance because literally, yeah, like like Val said, this is like a private VIP event in a VIP. Lounge. Literally, <laughs> the lounge is called VIP. Shit. 
uh, the, yeah, in the <laughs> VIP lounge where we have free roam, right? Yeah. And you gotta have food. You gotta have drinks. You have good cigars. What else you gotta ask for? You know, this this will be the pinnacle of your summer. Yeah, like yep. September, right? That is the end of the summer. Yeah, that is the pinnacle of your summer. You will have a lot of fun, I guarantee you. Right? So, yeah, come over to the event. Come over to the event. And if you haven't decided to come yet, you it's not too late. It's not too late. You know, if Lewis can buy a ticket today, he can buy a ticket tomorrow. It's true. Right? So it's true, and we may even find a time that we can take a quick excursion over and hang out at the at my lounge here too. Yeah, and if you have not visit Brendan's lounge, it's actually quite amazing. Now, I can say everything about his lounge is amazing, but I will not guarantee the bathroom is amazing. No, you got to piss out back. <laughs> the, the the bathroom has a great view. <laughs> the bathroom has great view, great ventilation. You're not gonna smell anything. But the lounge itself is amazing, and you get to see uh, my rabbit air in his lounge. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's yours. Your rabbit air is in, in right here in the studio. The other rabbit air is in the lounge now. I put yours in the studio. We can make and swap it. We yeah. <laughs> oh, you can Wait. come into the studio too. You can yeah. you can come in the studio and visit so, yeah. Tony's rabbit air. So let's 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 go have a lot of fun. I'm just saying it, it's got to be a lot of fun. I'm already looking yeah. forward to it. I haven't seen you know Brendan in person for like a year now. I'm kind of missing too, even though you know like I, I see his face, but it's not the same. Like the Brendan you see here, is not the same Brendan you see in person. I can tell you that. For sure. <laughs> right. I don't, Brendan, that, I don't know if that's an insult or a compliment. <laughs> like Brendan here is like an asshole, but Brendan in person. It's like asshole written backwards. Like you would not, like that. every time when I leave, I like you know what? I, I should have stayed a few more days. Well, the whole backwards would be a whole ass, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's gotta be a lot of fun. I can guarantee that. Like if you hang out with that uh, with everybody, it's gotta be a lot of fun. I know that for sure. That will have a good sure. time. Yeah. Right. I I know. Unfortunately, there is expenses, but that would be the best expense. Like you would think that's money worth it at the end of it. Because you can always buy a cigar online, sure. But buying a cigar in the event and you know, with everybody, totally different. Totally different. It's better than Disneyland. It's better than Disneyland. I I, I can agree with that. You know, <laughs> Disneyland, you're not there for for the uh, yeah. You know, if you want to see Mickey Mouse, I have a year right here. <laughs> you know, it, it's gotta be good. I I think yeah. it's gotta be great. So. I'm looking forward to it, and finally it's happening. I'm very excited. I'm very happy that it's happening. We have the swag for everybody. Obviously, I prepped a little something, something for for Brendan as well, so he better show up. Just get ready. Just, Just get, get ready. ready. Just get ready. Even <laughs> though it's Casa Cueva driven, but it's still SSL event. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's gonna be fun. Don't feel like you're going to this event. For Casa Cueva. You're going to this event for SSL and Casa Cueva just happened to be one of our members. You know, yep. and it's gotta be a lot of fun. You're not gonna see the business Lewis. You gotta see the fun Lewis. At least I'm gonna try that. Right? So Josh says he can buy online here in Utah, that's why I'm going to Arizona. Yeah, yeah they're not allowed they're not allowed to buy online in Utah. You know, sometimes you just might want to call a little guy, ask around, something like that. I'm yeah, a little saying, phone call, you know. Yeah, a little phone call. <laughs> I'm not saying anything's going to happen, but, you know, talk to a little yeah, guy. Check it, yeah, check on it. Yeah, 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 check, yeah, check with little guy. Check with little guy. He might find somewhere in Utah, just somewhere in Utah that, you know. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. The cat says I'm going to make everybody smoke about 15 cigars in one night. That doesn't happen. Even though I wouldn't be surprised that Lewis could. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a deal. Like when, with Lewis here for three days, I, I will probably smoke through in those three days. I'll probably smoke through, I don't know, probably somewhere in the realm of 30 cigars in those three days. Just two days? Yeah, so it's about 15 each day. Yeah. yeah. About, about, 10 to, 10, about 10 to 12 cigars a day. And yeah. you know what? Here's another thing. I think... Brendan can make this happen is that Brendan has a whole case of lighters and if you're interested to try out some of those really nice Virgo lighters and stuff like that you get to play with it he probably lost high and that's how I know about those uh, those lighters yeah. those lighters 
I mean, and here's the thing about the lighters that like, unless you play with it, you don't know how good it is, right? So right. Uh, I will suggest at least everybody go play with that big lighter that Brendan gave me last time, because that yeah, might entry. be our next project. That that's gonna be the next project. Okay, Brendan's probably had one in front of me. I have it upstairs uh, in my bathroom. That's not this one. Surprisingly, yeah. that particular big lighter is almost waterproof because I drop it in my bathtub and it still works. <laughs> Alright, the big one, I dropped it in my bathtub when I was smoking and it still works. So you're doing a Tony Montana, huh? Yeah, I smoke in my bathtub. That's just, you know, you gotta allow it, you gotta allow it. You're doing a Scarface. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I thought I was gonna like, you know, holy shit, it fell down and I almost feel like I dropped like a like a hair dryer in the water. I thought I was gonna die. Pick it right <laughs> up. It was wet. I was like, oh shit, and I clicked on it, it still works. I was like, oh shit, it still works. So yeah. good. But I think that's gonna be our next project for the lighter. I that's one thing we haven't done yet. But it might be something for next year. Everybody needs to recoup some cash before that happens. But that might happen next year and we'll make it happen. We just have to figure out how we wanna do it, right? Yeah. Uh, because the black one that Michael showed us looks like it's engravable surface. Maybe. It looks like engravable surface. So Maybe. I, have, I have to take a look at it and know uh, that might be our next project and you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna yeah. love it. And, uh, and then we will obviously, with the help of Brendan, uh, get a certain amount. Obviously we can't get the amount out of it. We cannot get a thousand unit, but we might go close to a hundred, right? So, you know, we'll go with that. Just we'll like make the it cutter. Happen. I mean, if you guys missed the cutter, I'm sorry. The cutter was great. I use it every day. Yeah. For some All reason, right. this cutter works better than this cutter, though. This cutter works better than this cutter. I don't know why. There you go. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why either. All right, but, I got to run, man. I got I got people to do and things to see. But thanks yeah. for letting me jump on here with you, Tony, and and uh, and, and hanging out with you guys again. Yeah, I miss nice, you guys. Nice to see you again. So yeah, we'll see you. Obviously, September, you know, and we'll talk. If there's anything changes, let me know. Yeah, I'll jump on. I'll try and jump on again. Cool. Um, it, when, as changes are coming and as things are, as, as new information's coming, I'll try and jump on with you and say, hey. Sounds good. Have a All good right, one, guys. Man. All right, Albert, Martin, see you guys. Bye. So I hope that answers your questions. Is there any more questions? Even though I didn't see any questions. This cigar is very hard to smoke. It just keeps dying on me. It just keeps dying on me, right? But it almost tastes like a fermented cedar. It has a little bit of acid to it, like sourness to it. But it was not an unpleasant one. It just kind of like, oh, that tastes like a cigar that's mixed up or something else. But it's very hard to smoke. It doesn't burn that well. And it could be because of my humidity over here right now is crazy. Right? right. It's crazy. But you guys keep me saying, like, I, I just keep lighting it up because it won't stay lit. It won't stay lit. But yeah, I, as you guys see, I'm very excited for the event. It's got to be super fun. You know, Martin's got to be there. I'm going to be there. Brendan's got to be there. Louis got to be there. Uh, uh, Michael's got to be there. You know, uh, Albert's got to be there. James is going to be there. Yeah. And, but don't let that stop you. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you want to see jamie in person this might be one of the only time in the re in, in the next few years that you gotta get to meet him in person all right sherry is gonna be there amazing sherry is gonna be there you know i actually think that we should let the ash queen and ash king battle it out at the event yeah they're oh, better yeah. they're better and we get to pick the cigar yeah, right? We, we pick the cigar and let them battle it out. What'd you say? I think that would be fun. I think that would be fun. How, 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 how about the people in the chat room? What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? Let the, let the king and queen battle it out. We'll make them smoke a Lancero. <laughs> we'll make them smoke a Woody. <laughs> I don't think they have Woody there, but, you know, we can find something hard. You know, we can find something hard. Like, we can try something like short filler. <laughs> Everything just falls over. Uh, right? So we will figure out something fun. 
obviously it's gonna be you know by years and stuff like that it's a listed in pure Arizona VIPs if you just go to the map Google map and just type in VIP cigar lounge you will find yeah, it. there's only it. one you'll see it there's only one and it's a little bit west of cigars daily it's not far at all that's the one they got they go to and you know like I say after I heard about it at first I was worried I looked at the map right away I was like hey what about who and drinks and all that stuff but after thought about it I was like you know a cup of drink how many cups do you need for the night right you're going you're looking at 100 bucks in a, per, a person if you just go to a bar right if you got to be there for a few hours so right. why wouldn't we just you know get a whole bottle of whiskey somewhere and pour from somewhere you know brendan's gonna bring you a few bottle you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna have fun right and, and it's gotta be really good i i think that you know it, any money that you can save overall is going to be a good save because you know that means for every cup of whiskey that you save for money you could have bought a cigar right so i, I think it's going to be great i think it's going to work out and you know i can't say too much more about it because you know it hasn't happened yet all i can think about is like it's happening it's happening it's great you know for those people um who who have issues still like didn't plan out and stuff like that you have questions uh make sure you ask make sure you ask ahead of time so we can solve it before you get there you know that way we don't have to solve it and obviously every plan has a problem right has loopholes so uh if, if something happens doing it we, we'll try to resolve it there right but if it's you know if something we can resolve prior let us know let us know we try to figure it out right and obviously uh we have few people that's driving so you know we should be able to tag along and all that stuff if not uh, we'll figure out we'll figure out you know uh, i think michael said literally if you want to go back and forth a few times he go back and forth a few times right so i think we'll be all set i think we'll be all set all right just make sure uh like i say first day is gonna be cigars daily friday okay friday is gonna be Thir if you arrive thursday you can hang out we can eat and stuff like that sure well, i'm not gonna go overboard because i know saturday i'm gonna smoke 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 right, right. so but Friday, we will go hang out in Cigars Daily for a little bit. You know, if you haven't checked out the new place, you could. If you want to drive by the old place, I don't know if it's still there. Last time I went over there, the, the old, old Cigars Daily used to be there when I was going there the first time. Second time was gone. Uh, so, you know, if you wanted to uh, uh, go check out Cigars Daily, make sure to join us. You know, it, it, everything is more fun when we go in groups, okay? And then we'll go in there in group. Obviously, you can, you know, do all your things. Uh, I will still say... If you want to buy cigars there, sure, but don't spend all your budgets there, okay? There's, there's more fun. You can always go back and buy it or whatever, but don't go crazy on it, right? And uh, and then we have, obviously, dinner together. If you want to join us, of course, we'll find something we all like to eat, which I don't think everybody's that picky. You know, we can still go to Whataburger, <laughs> right? We can pick out something to eat and hang out and again. We'll hang out at Fox Cigar. Lewis and, and, and Brendan is going to drop by right when they're done with the event, which I don't think is going to be too late. Usually they're like, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, they're done, right? So come join with us. Have a nice drink, chat. Get ready, get, you know, get yourself all ready for the next day, right? Have a good breakfast, breakfast meal. If we got to join all together for breakfast, so be it. I am totally good with that. I, I think some people don't eat breakfast, but... My recommendation is you do have a little bit of food in your stomach because you gotta right. smoke a lot, right? You gotta smoke a lot. So uh, have some food in the stomach. We gotta we'll go, we'll go pick up breakfast or whatnot. Uh, if you guys want, drop by where where I am at the, you know, and eat breakfast there, I don't care. You know, so that's gonna be those. Uh, like I said, the swag will be ready, I hope. Just make sure you guys uh, pay for your swag and tickets ahead of time. Uh, the due date is, july 20th i do not want to be later than that because shipping and production of everything right now is still trying to play catch up all right like i i ordered a box last week this week they still haven't haven't touched it yet they still have not touched it yet okay even though the proof is done and all that stuff so and after i receive it i have to send it to michael all right and michael had to pack it up and bring it over so and uh I did tell Michael to bring some other swag that I have left over at his place. We'll play some little game. Winner gets some swag. 
you know so it, it's all gonna be pretty good it's all gonna be pretty good and, and you, you will go home with back you you want to bring a backpack all right if you're driving there bring your backpack and stuff like that you're gonna carry those home you're gonna carry all the goodies home okay uh I show I don't know I, I did show you guys right the black cup the first one I wasn't satisfied with it so I have them remade it a new one a new version which looks a little bit better and I think that it's gonna be the final version so if you haven't seen it yet it's in Discord it's also in Facebook I believe uh, that the, the old version first the new version the new version is cleaner okay yes Josh I did change yours to going now uh, here's the thing okay whether or not you choose going or not, right? You can pay as going. But like if you change your mind, you can't go. Well, you change your mind, you're going. Either I'll just refine your 10 bucks or you just have to pay the difference 10 bucks for shipping. All right. So that's the only difference. Now, if you're not going, keep this in mind, okay? If you're not going, your event swag will not be shipped until I get back. Okay, so you'll be a little bit later than everybody else. But if you're going, all right, uh, let me know. If you if you choose not to go before and then now you choose to go, let me know. I'll make sure the swag is sent there. Obviously, obviously, I will send a few extra there just in case, you know, one of our stupid hand dropped it or something like that. All right, so I'll bring a few extra there. Uh, and, and, and that way, if we drop one, there's another one. Okay. There will be surprises for the fun, okay? I talk about this, okay? The swag will include one gold cup, all right? I don't know which one. Everybody will just pick theirs. It will be sealed. Everybody will pick theirs, and you might pick up one with gold. Now, if you want a gold one, you also want a black one, just let me know. Uh, I, I'll order a few extra black ones so that you can buy a black one on the side. Alright, but there will be one black, uh, gold one. Uh, there might be few games that we can play where you can win a gold one. Okay? Uh, just depends on how many I can actually get. How many I can actually get. Because I have to tell them to turn separately. And I don't know if they would. Okay? So. But that's with the cop. That's with the swag. Yeah, the especially, like, especially if we beat the Ash Queen and King. I mean, if we if somebody jumps in and beats them, damn. Yeah, there could be some unthroning going on. Okay, <laughs> okay. There could be some dethroning. Yeah, that'll never be me. All right, we'll do this. Okay, <laughs> if we do the long ass cha challenge, everybody can play. All right, King, Queen, everybody else can play. The winner will get a gold cup, all right? I'll, I'll make sure I get I set aside one gold cup on the side for that. So you guys can okay, I'll play with that. But uh, the person who's gonna choose the cigar will not be the person that's playing. If you're playing, you're yeah. not gonna be able to choose the cigar. All right, we'll vote on it and then and then we'll choose the cigar. Okay, it'll be lots of fun with that. Um, other than that, for the event, I think that covers the whole event, right? Uh, I'm leaving on Sunday, so whatever you guys are planning, I won't be there on Sunday. I'm leaving Sunday morning, okay? So, you know, if you guys have something planned, there's plenty of other places to go. If you're looking for, like, you know, boutique cigar and stuff like that, go to Embargo. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any special ones that you should be going, because we're already going to Cigar Study. We're always going to VIP. We're obviously going to uh, 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 the Fox. And, and if anything, Brendan's Lounge, right? So you already cover technically all the good places, right? If you want to go to Puro afterward, you could. If you want to go to Embargo, you could. It's all in the like proximity area, right? right. So they're, they're, they're all there, right? Um, so if you want to go to that kind of places, plan on Sunday. Plan, plan on going on Sunday, all right? And, and you will be able to enjoy those places as well, okay? As well. Uh, do, 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 do. Just remember, Cigars Daily is closed on Sunday. Cigars Daily is closed on Sunday. All right. Cigars Daily closed at six. This is why we're going at one. Okay. So uh, I I would just recommend for the, everybody who's going to tag along all the events that we're doing together. Treat this whole trip as one event together. 
all right? Yeah. You'll have more fun than going alone. I can tell you that. I can right. tell you that. Yeah. You know, because like, do you really want to sit alone in a lounge that you've never been before? What do you want to sit with the Shadow Smokes Legion and really take over Experience the area? Everything. Yeah. Right. So you know, we will do that. Um, what else? I have to think of. If you have a coin, you better bring your coin for the coin check. Right. Yeah, Matt Hashimoto. <laughs> Where's Hashimoto? Where's Hashimoto today? He said that he had a hard time getting back on. He's having some technical difficulties, so. He used his cell phone or something. Like he was just on. Yeah, I, I don't know. He didn't go into it, but he said he was having some problems, so he wanted me to let y'all know. It's gonna be a long trip. For that would be a long drive trip. But hey, if you wanted to, you know, go down, yeah, drive up on Friday and then drive back on Sunday. Yeah, if you gotta drive, yeah. I mean, I'll, I try to join us. You know, try to join us. You know, uh, we will put, we will post where we at, every part of the way. Okay, so yeah. you, you know where to find us, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Like I said, if you haven't get the ticket, if you haven't get the swag kit, and you're thinking of it, you need to let me know. Okay, you need to let me know so that I can put it in. All right. Uh, even if you get the ones to go and you end up not showing up, you still have your swag. I just had to send it to you. Okay. So uh, July twentieth will be the deadline. Okay, will be the deadline. I won't be able to make it if uh, if uh, you know some people didn't keep up their 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 numbers. Okay. So make sure, because I already calculated how much I need and how much I had to break uh, to make sure that they, they will make it for us. So Yeah, Matt, Matt's in uh, Idaho right now. He's in Idaho? Yeah. I could have swear I saw him near his house. Uh, No, he's in Idaho. You sure he's in Idaho now? I don't know. I'm certain. I'm certain. Okay. All right. So... I think that's the, that's the most important news of the day, really. Uh, if you guys have questions, now is the time so I can answer it for you. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Taoist, so I know where Matt is. All uh, right, right. Uh, I'm going to try to make sure the IDs are sent out to everybody before the event. Okay, so everybody who, who want to hang out with the IDs, you can, right? <laughs> and here's another thing, all right? I made a few extra regular membership card that has no name on it. All right. Okay. Uh, if you lost your car, you can get one with no name on it. All right? If you change your mind and say, I'd rather just carry one that's no name on it, you can still pick up the no name one after you arrive to me. Okay. <laughs> That's just in case somebody say, hey, I lost my car, but I still would like the car. Speaking of no name, I'm waiting for a parent to name their kid no name. There's already a lot of Chinese people has the name no name. Because, well, they would do fine in my class because there's always like one or two papers and they're normally 100s. <laughs> they, they have the word no name on them because there's no name. If, believe it or not, in Chinese uh, novel, there's one character. His name used to be Hero. Uh, it means hero, right? And then uh, he, his family disowned him. So they took his name away. So he was going around with the name No Name. So the name No Name is actually a really cool name in Chinese literature. Is it No Name or No Nami? No, No Name. No Name. All right. Should we there, Martin? He ended up becoming the god of swordsmen. All right. And he was a very cool character in Chinese yeah. literature. Well, my next kid, if, I, if we ever have another kid, which we probably won't, I'm naming him No Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you guys like how he was depicted as an art. I will say also real quick, anybody flying in, don't bring your favorite cutter. Uh, or if you do, put it in a Ziploc baggie. Um, Put a rubber band about around it and put it in your luggage because they will take it cutter cutter yeah they will not take a cigar cutter if it doesn't open it has no open blade like literally open up as a blade they will not take it 
like guillotine cutters. Yeah, I've guillotine seen... cutter, they, they, they allow you to take it. I've taken it before. Okay. But here's the thing. Put it in the bag. Put it in your, like, a cigar bag or whatever. Just don't let it sit alone. Yeah. Because right? I'm going to bring a luggage, and it's going to be in the luggage. But cigar cutter, I'm telling you, this one will pass. This one will guarantee pass because it doesn't have an open blade. Like you can't say, you cannot hold up an airplane flying like, hey, stop the airplane, go somewhere else. That doesn't work. So they will allow this. But if you have like an open scissor kind of cutter, it will not go. If you have a punch, it will go. You, what you need to watch out for is torch lighters. Torch lighter is an absolute no-no unless you empty it. If you empty it, they will let you go. Right? If they take it out and they press it, nothing come out, they will let you go with it. It's considered as a product, not lighter, if there's no butane. Okay. Alright, you can buy butane there, I guarantee. Alright, so empty it before you go or bring a soft flame. Soft flame will go. Yeah. Okay. I plan on just buying a uh, uh, one of those cheapy Vertigo's Cyclones and then just having Michael ship it to me when I get back. Uh, shit. What is the... Okay, yeah. That should be a rough drive there, Juan. Yeah, it's uh, 16 hours, right? It's 16 hours from here, from Dallas to Arizona, uh, Phoenix. So let me show you guys how he was depicted uh, in in the novel. I, have, I can take a screenshot of this. Uh, save image. Shape image. All right, here we go. Well, these Cameroons are awesome, aren't they, Martin? Uh, I wasn't really a fan of it, to be honest with you. Oh, this is no name. You can let me have yours, man. I this is no it. name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Chinese character you see on it literally says no name. So that's that's he was he actually like he was actually uh, done many many variation of it and um, he actually have his own movies. So no name is actually a cool name in Asian culture. Not that I think I we'll use uh, the word San's name next time. S A N S name. San's name. San's Nami. Yeah, without name. My wife has been reading those like a uh, sign that you know the square sign. So if you see sale it'll be S A and then the bottom will say L E. And then people are reading like say say lele. Sa sa lele. I'll just borrow a cutter and a lighter. Someone bring you know, you'll go into a lounge. They have cutter and lighters there. Just saying. You know. And yeah, if you if you are in a situation where there's no cutter, you're probably in a location that shouldn't be smoking. Right. Now like you don't like. I literally think that all you had to bring is money and backpack. Money and backpack. That's all you need. To do. All right. That's that's. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's it just bring. Most important, bring yourself so you can enjoy. It. Just bring yourself, and the, everything else can be worked out. Everything else can be worked out. Right? So. I can't smoke this anymore. I gotta smoke something else. <laughs> and, and just because of, uh, you know, you guys gotta talk shit about it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna smoke a dab it up, okay? Jeez. <laughs> there he is. I will. That's Yeah, I'll smoke a 1502. 1502, okay? Happy now? Happy now? Jeez. It take me like hours trying to explain why I'm not a Davidoff fan. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun conversation, Tony. That's yeah, fun. it is. It is. It I went upstairs yesterday. My wife's like, what happened? I was like, I just got shinier. <laughs> it was it was hot day yesterday. It was bad. I put a toothpick in this Rojas and not being this cigar all the way. Was that okay. Mark? Oh yeah. So, Mark is Mark is in the Legion now, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he's in Discord. 
So is Mark going to make it? Mark, you going to make it to the meet? We got to get him one of these. Oh, uh, I will um, have. I will have um, blah, 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 blah. I'll have Michael bring some over because it's all over his, uh, his place and people who want it can buy off of him. Yeah, there's somebody saying they were wanting one of those. Yeah, last yeah. Price. All right. So by then, you'll be a member. You'll be able to buy it there. You don't have to pay shipping. You know? so, well, technically, you are paying too. shipping. Technically. You're playing flipping. So who... Whoever hasn't seen this yet, it's a Shadow Smokers pin with a little number thing here. I, I can't even show it to you because I don't have one, I think. I actually and the new it. ones, the new ones have the two pins. The, the, the new one has two pins, yes. This is the OG one. <laughs> That's okay, cool. He's... Uh, he's uh, He's busy. He had to save his vacation for when his baby's born. You don't have to save your vacation because it's literally on a weekend. <laughs> hey, Juan, yeah, I agree with that, dude. That's a, that's a good one, man. That's true. Now look for a room. My wife said it's not a long drive if we are spending quality time together. That is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. You know? Yep. Like I said, this has got to be the one event. You don't want to miss. Like, I mean, yeah, people like to go to stuff like, you know, uh, the bomb smoker and stuff like that. They have those every year. They have those every yeah. year. If you miss it one year, you'll have it next year. But this is the event that you're not going to have every year. This is the event that we planned. We, 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 it was a concept two years ago. It was a yep. joke two years ago. Right? We literally say, yeah, let's do a meet. You know, bring, like, blow darts. I don't know even how many people remember that. Bring blow darts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were like joking about it, and literally now it's gonna happen, and it's gonna be the greatest time ever. And I'm, I, and the reason I say it's the greatest time ever is because when I go there, we don't have twenty people, we have like four people, and we have great time. Yeah, yeah. All right. If you gotta hang out with twenty of the members, I can only imagine it's gonna be a great time. Hey, you know who I, uh, who I was wondering if is gonna make it? Who? Um. You remember that girl that used to work at uh, Cigar Warehouse? She's Jennifer not Sims. a member anymore, is it she? She's not? I think I thought she was. Jennifer, no. Jennifer Sims? No, she, she got kicked uh, from uh, not checking in. Oh, shit. Because she kind of disappeared off the surface of the earth. Let me see. Uh, Hopefully uh, Christopher Kirby can make it out, though. I still haven't heard back from him. I still have not heard back from him. Right, so who I have going, I have Albert going, Brendan, I have uh, James, I have Jason Martin, I have Joseph Woodruff, I have Josh Jones, you know, uh, let's see, I have Kyle List, I say he's going, but I don't know if he is, he got to go. Uh, Luis Cuevas, Martin Amaya, Matt Hashimoto, Michael Wells, Sherry, me, Val, uh, Quick, say he's going. Josh. Josh, Dong, uh, Brian, Anderson, and Fernando say he's going to try. That's a good group of people. So that tells me that I don't have Juan on the list. Do I? Oh, yeah, I do. He said he was Juan. not going, so I will change it to going. Juan, so you, now that you're going, I'll change it to going, right? Oh, yeah, he's going. He's looking for a room. So I'll change it to going. Change it to going. All right. So if anybody else that did not hear the name is going, you need to let me know. You need to let me know. Okay. We might have somebody else going. Who? Um, it's not confirmed yet, but someone told me they may still be going. Who's the? I don't, I don't. I don't bring it up yet because I don't know. It's he's got shit going on, so I don't know if I want to say anything. I 
Uh, yeah, but then like uh, even the pending, I will let you know, <laughs> so I can plan for it just in case. Cause I have people that's not going. I have A. A. Ron says he's not going. Andrews is not going. Brian Alakas is not going. Yeah. Brian Gillespie is not going. Uh, Calvin Bush is not going. Greg is not right. going. Uh, Jim Wilcox is not going. Jeff is Daniel. not going. Not going. Joseph not going. <laughs> Matt Jocelyn not going. Matt Meadow not going. Pam is not going. Scott Copenhagen is not going. Ted Rogers is not going. William Gallahan not going. Uh, Daniel Martin not going. Tom Smart not going. Is he in that list? Or no? No. So I need to know then. Because, <laughs> like, you know, when I print the swag, I need to know. You'll know in 30 minutes, man. I don't know in 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> All oh, right, speaking fine. Of events going on. Huh? Speaking of events going on, I just found out an event I'm going to in September uh, after the meet. Uh huh. There's somebody going to an event that I'm like, fucking a, really? I know who. <laughs> I know who. I know who. Oh my god! I fucking found out a couple days ago, and it pissed me off, man. It really did. Martin. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it fucking I, pissed me off. Like, well, here's I was like the thing, God Martin. damn. Here's the thing, Martin. The world is small. This industry is very small. It is. You're bound to yeah. meet them, right? Yeah. You're bound to Be see cool, them. man. Be cool. But, but if you see them, treat them like how they treat you. That's the only you know regular thing, right? If they treat you like shit, you treat them like shit. You got nothing to lose. You don't even have to say hi to them. Just be cool, man. You'll be cool. I can tell you when I see the people I don't like, I pretend I never saw the person. That's how I am. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I, I, you know, if I can avoid going to the place that I don't like to go, I avoid it, right? If I can avoid it, I'm not gonna think about it, right? If the person yeah. come over to me and says hello, I'm like, hey, you know, that will be the end of it. And you don't want to avoid that that uh, event, dude. So, mm. you know, they invited a, you. Man, Let, let's get yeah. that clear, okay? They invited you. They invited me, yeah. so I'm going regardless. So. But if there's people there that I don't want to talk to. I'm just going to ignore them, act like I never saw them. So. Hey, yeah. man, do you want to you want to make, make a microphone? Huh? Get you a microphone so you can do some interviews with people. Yeah, I got to do something like that. I got to get <laughs> some sort of external microphone that I can hook up. I got to figure something out. Get you a microphone that looks like a cigar. <laughs> Because my setup right now isn't portable. So I got to figure out a way to make it portable. You don't have to make it portable. You sit over there and have them come to you. Yeah, I think yeah. that's how Bob did it. You when sit Bob down there and it's like, don't you know who I am? I am on the advertisement in your email. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I, I think I'll do it to where it'll just be a stand, like, a, what do you call it? Like a little tripod. No, like I'll be in like Crazy a little arm. set area. Like I'll have my own set area because uh, there are going to be a couple people that I want to interview. Um, but like getting video content of the area or what the event's going to look like, I'll have to find something to be able to record audio and be mobile. You can always just bring in like a like a voice recorder and just literally attach it back on, on doing the editing. Yeah, uh, you can do that too. Yes, Albert. All right. What you do, man, is we'll create a little um, car-looking thing, man, like a little car. <laughs> hey, my car's gonna be there. Yeah, but well, let me do something where you can kind of like set it up where it looks like your uh, car is behind you. And then you can like interview people in the car. That would be cool. And okay, you know. So yeah, I I think that you'll be fine. You'll be fine. If anything, he comes to you, it's like, hey, sorry, got a phone call that's more important than you. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, this is why I I avoid going to certain like cigar events and stuff like that. 
for that particular reason because I know there's more people that I don't want to see than what I want to see right I don't want to have any confrontation because I could be an absolute asshole if I see them and I didn't want to yep. create issues you know my team might be a nicer guy than I am doing like life uh, but you know if somebody meet me face to face and I don't like the person you gotta hear insult so that's just me By the way, for those people that doesn't know, the things that I say on my team's video is still good. I'm not taking it back. So, just saying, it's still good. All right, I'll let that sit for a while. Val's going to bring his leaf blower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so, uh, it's still good. And I, I don't care how it's done. If it's done, it's done. All right, and I will give something out for sure. Okay. Uh, you know, just for the heck of it, because he gave me a shout out. I have to live up to my name. <laughs> I gave you the shout out of the video. The shout out of the video, and which is all true. You know, if you, you if he was bullshitting, I would say, yeah, oh, that's bullshit. That didn't happen. It literally did happen, and that's how it happened. So, and if you don't know what's going on, that's because you didn't watch the video yet. Go watch the video. You know, right? Albert, I'm not, I, 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 think, I don't think I ever, I, this whole video time, I didn't even see you smoking. <laughs> oh, now I did. <laughs> As I, I was focused on so, so many things, I, I didn't see you it's smoking. It's alright, man. I just, it's all good. You're so relaxed under there, you know? That's the idea of it, isn't it? Mm. Isn't that what this is about? Just kind of relaxing and... It's still better than Chapin. How many people remember how Chapin looks like when he's on screen? Um, he needs to get on. He needs to get on the screen. He hasn't been around. He's like too busy with his bike thing. Yeah. Yeah. But hey. Yeah, he needs to get on. At least to say hi. Chapin's been busy with his bike. He's got a new girlfriend. I mean, that will take a lot of time, you know, when you have a girlfriend. He's doing good. Yeah, he's doing real good. He's doing good. That's good. Doing good is good, right? So I I, I didn't understand the leaf blower guy thing. The uh, there's always a leaf blower guy. In the, in oh, my for videos. the car. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, what was the leaf blower for? Uh, for the car. That's what it is. Well, today wasn't leaf blower. Today was uh, a ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony. Yes. <laughs> There's the cigar again. <laughs> Why did I, was, I bother? Why did I, I bother? To, I was just trying to get you know raise the percentage, man. That's all. Sure. Okay. Okay. I just I just see it once, right? You know. You know, I was f so focused on smoking that cigar that I wasn't even paying attention because that cigar just requires so much babying. You know, it literally live up to the name of being a pipe cigar because the pipe is just feels the same way. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's very hard to smoke. It's very very apropos, smoke. right? Yeah. So uh, while we got time, let me show you guys the coin again, and I think I have a better way of showing that coin now. Oh, you're talking. That works. Here's one of the color. All right, it's pewter. Alright. And here's the other side. This will come with all the standard package or all the premium package. Alright. You can see that? Yep. And here's the black one. This will come with all the premium package. See, this is significantly blacker. This is all black. You can see it under the light like that. You can see the shape. Yeah. Uh, in front, this is dark. This is very dark. Okay. The back side is colored, so it's a lot easier to see. Okay. That's cool. So that will be on the premium one. Um, yeah. And like I said, everybody will get the pin. All right, that's the pin. It's big. It's gigantic. 
It's gigantic. You'll take up the whole hat just to do that. It's going on the backpack. Yeah. Okay. And obviously stickers. Uh, did I, I show you guys the keychain, right? I did show you guys the keychain. Yeah. And I ordered more stickers. This time the stickers correct. But you will still guys, you guys will still get the original sticker as well. Okay. I will bring some patches as well. Um, and I'm thinking to bring some other stuff to add to it. But that will be at the event. Like there are some stuff only the people at the event will get. Okay. And uh, some of them will involve, in, involve playing game. Something will involve, you know, other stuff. So challenges. But we'll make it fun. You know, time will fly by, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. You're like, you gotta go back home. You're like, oh, man, it's over already? What the hell yeah. did I done? <laughs> you gotta feel yep. like that. You know, it's gotta be fun. I'm looking forward to the meet next week, actually. For the, the wine uh, with, the, with uh, Scott. Yeah. And that, that's gotta be quite a few people, too. I think like 10 people, something like that. Wow. So we'll yeah. do that. Oh, that's, that's a pre meet. That's the pre meet. Pre meet. That's pre-meet. like the the, the meet well, for those people who can be there. That's a meet, yeah. man. That's a full on meet, man. That's the meet for people who can be there, and it's got to be fun. I, I yeah, think so. that's that's legit. Because and, and Scott's been, I think, what Scott and Steve have been kind of working on the plans for all that, right? Scott, um, yeah, they've been you, organizing it and all that. Scott. Um, Justin Wagner said he might be able to make it. I think that of the nine people, he didn't count Justin Wagner. That's why. He said he's going to try to. He doesn't know. All right. But we know where it is. We got to try to make it. And I'm pretty sure if, if we got one more person, pull another chair. It should be okay. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. Woo. So, yeah, can you please show us? So, um... How do I bring this up? Uh, how do I bring that up? Maybe I shouldn't bring it up. But anyways, you know, through the conversation with Val, you know, it actually make the, like, I think in the group, we feel so like, it feels like we've been in doing stuff for a long time. Doesn't it feel like this group has been on for like five, six years? It feels like that to me, even though it's only been two years. It feels like we crammed so many things in two years. Well, to right? be fair, two and a half, right? Two and a half, yeah, almost three years. Two and a half. It, it just feels like we crammed so many things in into that two and a half years that it feels like five, six years. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's only two and a half years, right? Well, and like the Cigar Daily stuff didn't happen that long ago. You know, after talking with Val, I was like, oh, shit. It wasn't that long ago. But so many things happen. It's all around the same time. Things just blew up, you know. You know, it's it's a lot of things happening. Like I'm looking at the the episode, like right? 240 episodes now, 240 episodes, and that's minus all the other stuff that we recorded too, you know, minus the like the hundreds of uh, Facebook ones, and maybe like a handful of uh, Twitch videos and stuff like that. That's quite a bit of things happening. It feels like it's a long time though. It feels like a long time, but if you, I, I, I was surprised how much Val got uh, of what's happening over eight episodes. Yeah, that me too. That that was interesting, right? Only now, think, eight episodes. No, no, I think he he was also looking through the uh, Facebook post as well, so you can see stuff there if you go back, but. Yeah, but I didn't do that much in the beginning with the Soy Sauce Assassin page. Right, but, wasn't a lot. but I think you can go back in our history, right? Yeah, so, I mean, if you think of that, here's the thing. Shadow Smokes Legion went through four variations of, uh, of Facebook. Facebook changed four times, updated four times since we're on Facebook. That changed a lot. That's crazy. Other than the curse of 150, how many group, how many other group has this many members still around after two years? I don't know. Well, there's a thing with that though, right? Uh, Scott brings up an interesting point, but um, 
those groups, they, they probably still have a lot of people around, but are they really actively doing stuff here? No, we have to be fair here, okay? We're at 150 because we kick people out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If we don't right. kick people out, I'm pretty sure we're in at 3,400. 3,400, right? But it's like, it would be like, um, you know, gym memberships are being paid for that people aren't showing up for. <laughs> I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> right? So, you know, being a free, no membership uh, payment group, I think we're doing very well. You know? Yeah, granted, we try to do fundraisers, we try to do raffles and stuff like that to pay for some stuff. I think we're doing great. Wait, I pay my dues on Patreon. <laughs> True. I mean, that goes to the website, yeah. <laughs> so. so, if anybody didn't know, I have a Patreon, but I also support Tony on Patreon. And I'm guilty because, like, I, I have to be fair. So, if one person on Patreon had to do another and another, so I only do one dollar for, for my team. But it just shows that I care. You know, I, I just want, because my team doesn't really want my money. My, my team just want my friendship. That's all I care about, right? So. But it's cool having your name on there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> if everybody's like, who the hell is this Soy Sauce Assassin guy? Or well, Soy Sauce Assassin guy is the guy that gave out crazy stuff. <clears throat> hey, Christopher. Hey, Chris. How you doing, man? Hey, what's going on, man? So, yeah. Over eight episodes. He got so much information. I was like, wow, that really did happen. I, I, I did not even remember what is on the first episode. I don't remember. I mean, I remember Martin's like you know first like uh, you know review on the on the uh, humidor thing because it always shows up. It always shows on my feet. I'm not kidding. It always shows on my recommendations. I, I watched that like 50 times already. Yeah, that thing has so many views now. I should have made that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's still my highest watched video. I still get comments on it, man. Surprisingly, my highest comment, uh, highest view video was a humidor, and nobody gave a shit about me for humidor. <laughs> 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 Next few years. Here's the thing. I already decided what it's going to be like for our member card in a couple of years. Okay? Instead of printing on a black card, I'm going to print it on a rose gold card. Because I saw a roast gold car and I thought, oh, that color looks great. <laughs> the video from Martin also comes on my feed too. Yeah, it just always shows up that one. And you're like, that's not how Martin looks like. I know. You know, it looks different. That's not how he looks like, you know? I look young. So, and it's only been two years. I know. You know what will do that to you? Make you age? Kids. Yep. Kids will make you yeah, age. Yeah, I went back. I went back and looked at all my, uh, like, how many videos I posted. And um, I, I've been doing this for three years now, YouTube. Yeah. May, no, because you did it after me. Well, but my YouTube channel has been up since May of 2018. But I didn't start the, the cigar review stuff until we had met. So that's um, when I my, really started. My, my channel, I don't know when my, my channel started. I think... Here, let me take a look. When did I start my first... My first black? My first black. Your China. Alright, let's go to your China. Alright, so how did I look and when did I start? How did I look at when did I start? Just go to... Uh, just Scroll click down. On your videos. Click on your videos. And then... On the uh, date, click the date, and it'll reverse it to where it's your very first video from then on. All right, let me try that. So by date, oh, this. Uh, okay, no, my first video technically is the Project Car Carbon Pouch. Is the Oh, I remember that one. This one, which I still yep. use. Everything everywhere. That one was it's two years ago. That one is two years ago, and then right after that was the CC100H review, and then we have the first 
uh, CDN Northeast Chapter Chat review. I mean, day. That was November 12, 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So when he say he's episode eight, before all that, I have like crap low of episodes that has this not numbered. Yeah. Right. I have a lot of stuff that's not numbered. They at the chop house. Yeah, the chop house. Uh, Semi weekly chat, and then we started the episode, and the episode started. Or the, the fifth episode was the the rabbit air. Six was filthy Viking. Episode eight is Davida. <laughs> episode eight is Davida. We we're not we're not gonna talk about that, are we, Tony? No. But I'm like trying to see how many is there. How many is there? Two. Uh, I have two. Okay, I have a lot of other shows. I, I have a lot of other uh, cigars. That was like a very small portion of it. Come on. Yes, Albert. Yes, Albert. Scott's one. Uh, see about getting a, a group hat. Hats. Yeah, I'll buy one like the one Tony's wearing. They actually discontinued this hat. But they do still make this shape. Just not this color, I think. So, For those people that doesn't know, I usually wear the black one when I'm outside. Only when, the, when I'm doing the show, I'm wearing this yellow one because my dog wear this one. I, I actually let my dog wear this one before. That's why this is one I always wear. This one stays in my basement. So, it's a cool hat. It's a cool hat. Yeah, I, like I changed like location where I was filming. I changed a lot of things. I, I I'm surprised how long it has been. I'm like really surprised how long it has been. I was crazy. What the heck did I done? But I think so far, when everybody say, um, you know, the, the the video they like the most is still the Impossible Burger, even though that doesn't have that many views. I think everybody still like that video best. The Impossible Burger. How would they know? I don't know. It because doesn't have that many views though. Yeah, if you don't view it, how do you know you like it the most? Uh, most views are usually the Christmas raffle video, which I'm so surprised that has 498 views. Who are those people? We don't have 400 <laughs> members. We don't have 400 members. Who are those people? People want to watch a train wreck. Right? Uh, like, okay, the first one has 400 something view. Let's find the second one. Where's the second one? I'm still trying to find the second one. Hold on a second. So, what's your highest viewed video? My highest viewed video is probably. Uh, sort by view. Probably the the new air uh, the the new air humidor. Yep, it's one point six thousand view. That's the highest one. I'm surprised. The thirty second review for the Davidoff Oro Blanco has eight hundred thirty seven. <laughs> Like where are those people came from? You should do that as a uh, a prize for uh, one of the meat for the meat. Oh, uh -huh. uh, Martin drive begging. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the second, the Christmas raffle has two hundred forty-five views. Okay, Turbo Jack Coffee one has actually had one hundred seventy-five views. Semi annual raffle the second time has two hundred twenty-five views. Was, I was like, who's the one that's viewing? <laughs> who's the one that's viewing? Now, if you want to see how the black one, the black hat look like, it's actually, uh, if you look at episode four, it's there. The black hat is on episode four. And let's see. Yeah, like um, my, my video usually just about 100, which makes sense, you know. So any plans for the Christmas live this year you can share with us? I don't know yet. You know, to be honest with you, I think people will be so... 
busy and 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 empty pocketed to do that Christmas live. But again, we'll try to do it. We'll still try to do it, right? Uh, and obviously, it's not gonna be five hours. I'm gonna cut it down to like few hours, right? And uh, it will still depend on everybody's donation. We'll put it together. We'll have fun. Uh, do the raffles. I'll try to make some. I saw a different swag that I want to make for raffle prizes. Uh, obviously, right now it's in the works. I have probably had to go through like five or six variations before I get a good one. And that is something similar to what you guys asked for before. Right? Similar. Okay. Oh, by the way. Okay. You're doing. Okay. You got some kind of a secret game going on i do all right i'm on the damn lives i don't even know what you're talking about man what, like, what <laughs> that's hell? why it's secret that's why it's secret that's why it's secret so wow. the only way to find out is if you watch videos or you keep you keep your eyes on videos maybe if you subscribe or have the bell ring or whatever maybe you can find it or you can just you know my randomly show on your feed or whatnot all right this is one that uh, I thought it would be fun and, and it, it, it might happen any day It yep. might happen at any day, okay, and here's the thing if you do find it Don't mention it to anybody else All right that that raises your chance of winning, <laughs> okay So how would we uh, how would we? Uh, uh, it, I guess. Some 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 fishy man some fishy some fishy All right, so um, I just don't. I don't get it, man. I'm here and I don't understand it. Oh, it's, was, not the it's not on the live. It's not on the lives. It will be a video, or well, is a video, but it's not live. And you may never hear about it or see it if you don't. If you're not subscribed or have the bell ring, it might pop up though. It might pop up for those people who who join the live all the time. It might just pop up on your feed, but. Uh, if you see it, don't mention it to anybody. Don't take a screenshot. Just follow the instruction and go with it. And you'll win something. Okay? You'll win something. What's the deal with the uh, bubble head? I only have one. I can't make a lot of those. Those are hundred something dollars each. Damn. And the shipping is not going to be cheap either because they're heavy. Yeah. So that's why I only make one for myself. <laughs> if I can make a miniature version of it, I would. Uh, they, they, I have. Here's the thing. You guys seen the um, what's the thing called? Pop. No, it's not called pop figures. Those figures that with a square face, you can collect. Oh, shit. Uh. Funko. You guys know what that is? Mm. I am Wait, thinking no. to make those Funko Is it the pop figurines? Mm -hmm. No, okay. here, here, here. I'll show you guys how they look like. Because I know what those pop figurines look like. Uh, come on. I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend. Can I not spend? Can I not spend? Do I have to spend? Okay, fine. They are closed. Alright, <laughs> let me show you guys how it looks like. Safe. Safe. Why is the computer moving so slow? Come on, move faster. Right. Hey, real quick, do we have any more candidates for uh, prestige? We do, but they won't be announced until end of the year. Okay. Boom. I thought she was gonna wait till after the audit, man. It will be after the audit. Right. Mm. Well, yeah, cool. they look like those pop figurines. These. So yeah. I think I, I find a, a place to make it. They're about like 30 bucks. So I might make a few for those people who are in, uh, interested. Because I'm going to make one for myself. <laughs> so that, that will happen uh, eventually. That's why I'm, uh, my project is that next. 
that would be a lot cheaper to have something like that. But they had one bob. You don't get to bob the head, but you know, still fine. Right. I swear I'll be sober for the Christmas life. Promises. promises. <laughs> Didn't we have to kick uh, Scott out last time? <laughs> Did we kick him? No, we didn't kick him. Did we? No, I knew you were good. No. I just blew up instead. But I know for sure this time Scott will be, uh, will behave. Will behave. Yeah. Scott, just drink two cups instead of three cups. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't decided on the format yet. So, you know, it will be decided sometime in October when we start to source prices, start to get the tickets out there, uh, start to, you know, start to come up with what we want to do. Then I can figure out how we want to do this. Because we want to be inclusive, right? At the same time, it had to be organized, right? So we can all have fun, right? We definitely have fun every time, but try not to get over, out, out of hand. That's very, uh, most important for me, right? So, right now it's still kind of early. I haven't thought that far yet. It's like, okay, what do we want to do? You know, it'll be cold. So, you never know. Yeah, you know, global warming, we might, you know, be like 100 degrees in the winter. Who knows? Hell, I heard um, fucking Canada is having uh, new record highs lately. Did you see that? Yeah, my wife is like, you know, do you think this is global warming? I was like, I hate to tell you, love. But global warming has been happening since Ice Age. Yep. <laughs> right? Unless you can explain how those ice melt. Global warming has been happening since Ice Age, and that's prior to internet. That's prior to any technology out there. So, I don't think being a vegan is going to save the world. Just saying. But, that's how it works. Oh, Martina, I actually was going to tell you, I'm running into a big problem right now. What's that? My wife is watching a show on Netflix called Elite. Uh, that, that might not sound very interesting because it's just a show. What's a big deal, right? Right. The problem is that the show is in Spanish. <laughs> so my wife starts to have some Spanish accent when she talks. <laughs> been watching them Spanish novelas. <laughs> so she's like, so you know one of those characters, right? Her name is Marina. I was like, mean Marina? Yeah, Marina. Marina. <laughs> yeah. And she started, so, she's like, you know, I was like, you need to stop watching those shows because it's very, very weird for Asians <laughs> to talk in a Spanish accent. Oh, man, that's funny. Right? She's trying to figure out what words means and everything too, you know. And then like last night, she's like, "Hola!" And oh yeah, um, she was saying something else. I, I, she's like, "You know how to say what's up?" I was like, "Oh, people say que pasa," you know. I was like, "What's up?" Right? She said, "There's something else," and she said, "Say the word." And I was like, "Well, I never heard of that word." But whenever I talk to amigo, they're like, "Hey, hola, am amigos, uh, 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 you know, que pasa?" You know, I was like. I, I would think that's me. What's up? But like, well, what's going on? What's she going said on? it was some other way. You guys say it. You on that? Yeah, something like that. I, I can't. I, I, you know, I like I say, Chinese accent with Spanish word don't work that well, right? <laughs> so she's been like telling me like, oh, did you know they? Use, it's very interesting. I was like, yeah, you know, if I went to a Spanish class, I would tell you, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> So I'm thinking about doing a, an entire Spanish review video. Make sure you put the subtitle. <laughs> I know. I was thinking about that. I, I, you know, you gotta make me skip through the entire thing. <laughs> so I can't understand the shit that he's talking about. At, at least the description of what I'm tasting on the bottom in subtitles. And she was like, "What? Well, don't don't like you know cigar? A lot of words are like Spanish words." I was yep. like, "It's true." She's like, "Don't you ever pronounce those Spanish words?" That's how I do. I pronounce them. However, I don't pronounce them right, and no one's gonna tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> she was, she's like, like, you know, give me an example. I was like, I don't know, Maduro. I know that Martin I was at Maduro, but then you know, I am not gonna pronounce like that. I'm gonna call it Maduro. 
Good idea, Val. Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs and say, "What's up, chica?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dinosaur couldn't tolerate the heat. <laughs> no, dinosaur can tolerate the heat. Dinosaurs are cold-blooded. They're lizard breed. They're they're cold-blooded. If we stop cow from farting, we can stop global warming. <laughs> Have a good night, Jason. Good night, Jason. If I can stop cows from farting, we can stop global warming. <laughs> but I like steak too much. So stop feeding, like don't feed them fiber. Why are you gonna feed them chicken? They fought less. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, 1108, I already, I already announced everything that we need to announce about the event. So be excited. Events are happening. We're gonna have lots of fun. And you know, lose sleep over it. Do whatever you need to do. And uh, you know, if anything comes up, I will keep you guys updated. I don't think anything's gonna change from this point, to be honest. And if you change your mind, you decided to go, if, if, if now you start to think that this is gonna be an absolutely fun time, you need to let me know, all right? You need to let me know so we can put everything in perspective and get the numbers in, uh, you know, uh, have your swag and, and so you don't get left out. And, and you know, those are very important, okay? Deadline again, July 20th. All right, July 20th, don't be late. Don't make me chase. I really hate to chase you guys. I, even though I keep reminding everybody, I, I just don't have the time to keep chasing you guys. Like, I don't want you guys to be left out. At the same time, I don't have time to chase you guys. So don't make me chase, okay? All right, so that's it for tonight. I'm going to go to after show and listen to the, all the secret things and dumb ideas that we have. And... Hey, uh, can, can we post the, the code in the Discord for after show? Someone wants to get, if somebody wants to get on? If you want to get on, message me. Okay. <laughs> message me. And we can decide. Okay? Uh, so, because I might not even be there afterward. So, all right. So, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Stay safe, especially with this, like, weird weather. Stay safe, stay cool. And I will talk to you guys on Saturday. Bye, stay guys. saucy. <laughs>